find out a little bit more about uh, the link up between the UAE and Ireland, I'm joined by the Irish ambassador to the UAE, Kieran Madden. And great to, to talk to you. And tell us a little bit about, about this. I mean, it is a sort of link that goes back years, doesn't it? It is. Uh, traditionally, there have been two strong links between Ireland and the UAE. Doctors, a lot of UAE doctors would train in Ireland, and horses. And the link with the horses, uh, the, the horse link between Ireland and UAE goes back 30 or 40 years at this stage. Of course, uh, their Highnesses, uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid and Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid al Maktoum, have a number of stud farms in Ireland, and that would be the biggest part of the link and very important in, in Ireland, very important to the Irish racing industry and very important to the Irish economy. But beyond that, there were uh, smaller owners and smaller trainers who were also uh, keep their horses in Ireland, uh, breed horses in Ireland, and thankfully buy horses from Ireland also. Mm, which has worked out extremely well as we've seen recently, but the Irish thoroughbred marketing are here to sort of just sort of further the links and, and say thank you, as they said. I think, yeah, the first thing is they're here to say thank you because the links are so strong and they want to emphasise that we don't take those links for granted, that the relationship is very important. And the second thing is because the relationship is so strong, there is always a danger that one could leave the link, count on what's there already to be there forever. And it's very important that we look to renew the relationship with, with existing um, partners and existing clients and existing friends. And that we also look to bring new people into it. It's very, it's very important that we develop the links further and further. And I suppose as Dubai grows, it becomes a bigger market for Irish thoroughbred marketing and for Ireland. And we want to make sure that we remain relevant in the market. Of course, I've seen it work the other way, of course. Dubai Duty Free sponsoring the Irish Derby. And there's quite a lot of, of Dubai and UAE sponsorship over there. Yeah, Dubai Duty Free, of course, have taken the, the Derby sponsorship. And just to complete the circle, of course, the Dubai Duty Free is headed by a man from Ireland. <laughs> And uh, in the last couple of years, of course, the, the Guineas Festival has been sponsored by Abu Dhabi. So UAE sponsorship of Irish horse racing is very, very important. And it's very important to the vitality of the industry and also, of course, to the profile of the industry in this part of the world. So all we need now is an Irish trained winner on Dubai World Cup night. Fingers crossed. We'd love to see one. I've been here for three years and I haven't seen one yet, so I would love to see one.